And we told them, we don't convert, you convert. We don't proselytize, you proselytize. We don't baptize, you baptize. And we don't debate, you debate. What do we do? I said, we inform. They said, no, now we don't believe in proselytization. I said, no, you still believe it. You know what is proselytization? Means you try to convert somebody through hardship. They go to India, Pakistan, or uh, Africa, poor, miserable people, or refugees. They go and give them food, medicine, give them the Bible. Now, I told them, one of the cardinals was from Nigeria. He was bragging that because of the Vatican, he became now in the rage of, uh, uh, what you call it, uh, cardinal. You know, cardinals are the ones who select the Pope from within themselves. For 450 years, the Pope has to be from Rome. This Pope is from Poland. And it was a big war in the whole Catholic world. How in the world, even white, blonde, blue, Polish. Polish, Polish is the Pope? Now, that uh, crazy uh, cardinal from Africa, from Nigeria, he thinks that one time he might be there. It will never. I said, you yourself, I was in Nigeria, and I know what you have done in Nigeria. When I was in Nigeria, the Muslims of Nigeria will not send their kids to Christian missionary schools, not even to public school, some of them. They wanted only to Muslim schools. What did you do? You established a Muslim school, you Christians, and you called it Muslim grammar school, which is high school. We went there, knock at the door, Salamu alaikum, what? Salamu alaikum, what? Is this Muslim grammar school? Yes. We said, we are Christian missionaries renting this place for the Muslim. Go to the other building, the principal is there. We went to the principal, knock at the door, Salamu alaikum, what? Are you the principal? Yes. Salamu alaikum. Is this Muslim grammar school? Yes. And in his office, all the pictures of Mary and Jesus and statues. We found out all the administrators and the teachers are Christians. All the kids are Muslims. Muslim families, they want to send their kids to Muslim schools, so they establish Muslim grammar school, but they are Christians running the whole school. I said, you are cheaters. You are liars. You goof the Muslims to bring them there, to cheat them, to proselytize them. We brought it to the attention of Grand Mufti at that time. He was shocked. He said, they came to us, and we gave them letter of recommendation to go to the Middle East and get money because they are Muslim school. I said, you see, you are Grand Mufti, and you don't know what goes on in your country. Proselytization through deceiving and through cheating and lying. I said, Jesus is innocent of what you are doing. We will not go through this route. You help people, you don't tell them zakat, so as not to insult them. You help people, don't brag and say, I'm rich, you are poor. Don't brag that you are donating and generous. Do it for the love of Allah. The best of all, when you put your hand in one and you try to give it, not even the two hands know what you have done. That's the maximum that you can really please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Is it easy? It's not easy. Is it easy to put your hand in one pocket and give and you don't know how much? No. Once I was raising money to one masjid, one child was so happy, he went to his father. He said, Father, did you hear Dr. Sakar what he said? He said, yes, what does it mean? He said, you give money, you shouldn't know how much. He said, how can I do it? He said, give me your credit card. I'll give it to him. Let him deduct how much he wants. Then by the end of the month, you know how much you deducted. <laughs> Somebody came to me, he said, crazy, you take credit card, don't you know haram? Why? I said, he said, you pay interest. I said, no, you don't have to pay interest. By the end of the month, pay it, you don't pay interest. <laughs> <laughs>